Hello, YouTube. Okay, you know I've got the uh, the new die set, the 308 Winchester, and I loaded some up um, on the last video. But I was tinkering around with this uh, these dies, looking at them, just inspecting them, and it got me thinking. You know, that's a that's a 308 win, and a blackout basically uses the same projectile. So I got to thinking, I was like, well, can I use this same seating die to load 300 blackout? So, you know, I tinkered around with it on the press. I haven't loaded any yet, but I've went ahead and I've, I've prepped two cases, got them primed and charged. We're using IRMR 4227 and just a basic range bullet. The Hornady uh, 150 grain boat tail hollow point, a hollow point, uh, full metal jacket. And uh, what I've been using for my blackout is my lead dies, and they work great. I'm pleased with them. Um, comes with a factory crimp die. Uh, the full length sizing die does a good job. I'm not complaining. But before I got these, I'd actually went to the big box store and was going to buy the 300 blackout dies. And then, you know, from that video, I got sidetracked. So, I got to thinking, after I looked at that, I was like, you know, I'm okay with my uh, full-length die. I'm okay with my factory crimp die. You know, I've got the shell holder. I just wanted a better way to seat because this, you know, kind of turned me on to that. So, we're going to try it. <clears throat> we're using the Hornady manual. This is the ninth edition. So, I went by, I'm going by what they say. So, let's get started. So, I've already got my shell holder in And we're going to set this up exactly like we would a 308. We're going to put an empty case in. Turn my seating adjustment knob all the way up. Turn this in till we can just get in there. All right, it went in. All right, I'm going to watch the die as it goes down. And I'm going to stop about quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch probably, to where the bottom of the die touches the shell plate. So that's going to be it. Make sure I back out on my stem because this die is it's pretty far in there. All right, I'll take my empty case out. All right, this is a charged case. It's ready. Okay, load it. Set my bullet on top, try to get it as straight as possible. Raise it. All right, that floating alignment sleeve just cups that, that case perfectly. We're gonna go up. All right, I had no contact with the seating stem, so I'm gonna turn my seating stem down. This may work, it may not. All right, came in contact, I'm gonna lower. Bullets nowhere close to being seated. So I'm going to go down one and a half turns. We'll see how far that takes us. Okay. Wow. I believe this is going to work, y'all. If this works, I won't have to buy that other die set or a single die. I can just jump back and forth with this one and that one with the 308 and the 300 blackout. So let's look at my cartridge overall length. They're calling for 2.220 out of the manual. Of course, this is going in an AR, so it's just gotta be functional in the magazine. Okay, not quite there. Let's go a quarter of a turn. Almost five thousandths off. Wipe my shell holder off. Make sure I don't have any dirt on it. Let's see. I may have some in that shell holder. Hit it with a little canned air. All right. Go down just a just a hair. Wow. 
We're actually a little further than what we needed to be. We're at 2.199. I think we'll be okay with that. All right, so that worked. Concentricity, I'm not sure. We had a gauge, I could tell you. So I'm gonna back off just a little bit. See the next one. Of course, these these bullets aren't known for their uh, consistency on length because they are full metal jacket. Okay. Let's check that one. What's this one? Yeah, that'll work. Two point two oh three. We're a little long, but I think we can stand it. Three thousandths shouldn't make a difference. Probably barely touch it so if that makes a difference touch it just a hair more I'm probably being a little picky here but the point is 2.200. We'll go with that. That's normally where I load them at. I load mine a little long compared to what the book says. So, it works. It totally works. And I know it's definitely going to do a better job with the Amaxes. I run a, like 168, 178 grain Amax. Um, the original bullets I bought, the 168 grain uh, boat tail hollow points, it's going to work great on those. I believe this stem, the seating stem that comes in this die, is actually made for the Amax. So it, it should work great, especially that longer bullet compared to 100, 150 grain up to you know, 178, it's going to work great. So, if you got 308 wind and these dies, and you're loading for 300 blackout, you don't have these dies, say you're using a lead die or another die, you can use it. You can use the same seating die. Because all it's going based off of is the neck. Now, it may not be perfectly true you know, as far as neck thickness, but it is working. So, I mean, it goes right in there. You can see it right here. It's fitting right in that alignment sleeve. Goes up. Seating stem's working. It won't be, you won't be able to cramp with it. So, you're not going to be able to cramp with this die. Not on the 300 blackout. You can't on the 308 win, which I'm shooting out of a bolt anyway, so I'm not, I'm not at to a point where I want to cramp yet. So, quick video. Thought it would be beneficial. Anybody loading um, 308 and 300 blackout. They work. So you can use the same seating die for both these cartridges. That's at least a twenty or thirty dollar savings right there. If you already have your other your other die set. So there we have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I was too, so excited about it. Thought it was kind of cool. So we'll leave it at that, and uh, this may be my go-to. Uh, Seating die for a 308 period.
And I'm sure this is going to work for 30 out 6 too. So we should be able to seat, I would say, just about any 30 caliber projectile with this stem. I'm not guaranteeing that, but I know it's going to work with 300 blackout. And it should very well work with the 30 out 6. It should work, you know, with Magnum cartridges, you know, 300 win mag. So it sits in there. I don't see why it wouldn't, but it should. So we'll see what happens. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like. See you guys later.